I got so much things to say right now. So much things to say. People may attack. May attack. Me now want no more bumbo cloud secret for dance hall, so me attack. Yo, me I watch cargo. A video of cargo. I'm gonna let you see the video. Let me set the clip up real quick. Cargo is calling names. He's exposing the individuals within the Jamaica music industry that took advantage of him, robbed him, and, t and, and, and left a bad taste in his mouth, so to speak, as far as the music thing go, right? And he is saying that they blackballed him, cut him music off of the ear, no more producer of Jamaica don't want to voice him because of how them people they link, and he's telling us basically how the thing run in Jamaica. Cargo is not the first one to have said this, but Cargo is the only one to have come forth so far and said it as blatantly as he has. Now, while you listen to this, please excuse the expletives and the languages. If you don't want your picnic to hear it, move them. Listen to the video. Watch the video. Cargo express himself. A Cargo. No, sell out my friend them. No, got this me. The Cargo there. Listen to him talk and then come back and hear what SoFlo TV have to say. Here is his video. See ya. You know how I fucking feel for your people in Chicago. Now I sell out my friend them one of the biggest song doing a dance hall and I don't hear you on radio. People, how now I go hear me on radio when a radio man did a manage me? A big guy from IRFM did a manage me, you know. He was a banky, you know. And the first show when I ever get overseas, Banky fly first class and put me in a coach. And I run with Bumbo Clot and then plug me out for a radio. I don't want no secret because I'm not in a dance hall again. You understand what I say? True, they have some power, they tell some selector, plug out cargo. They say cargo no no manners. Bunty killer no manners. Ninja man have manners. No night top man them no no manners. What is manners? What is manners? I want to know what I do, I want to know who do you know what I come to cut and up and say I suck you off I go bumbo clock do that for my song them play no people So people you know, help me turn up back my thing and show them post the wall and say God pick me off you win See? When me do in a music make my song them can't play up on the blood clock radio I don't know how much money me give some big pussy this Jackie boy to I make fans that come and ask me, say, how oh, me now here in cargo? Me now want no more secret for blood clot dance all again. A biggie and banky make me sing them now, play. You know, say, a big pussy Sean is them. Sean is a me boss, you too, you know. You understand? Yes, I you boss me, but I mean, say, Sean is. So, how oh, you know vice the cargo? Look how much rhythm you put out. From me and blood clot biggie, them fall out. Your vice cargo, pussy all in our one big set of blood clot hypocrite in a dance hall. I eat my quick glad say every artist I build them own studio now and start a vice themselves. People may have vent a 2018 I mean, I want no more secret for dance hall again. And fans may have beg on no plays. Help me turn up back my thing for embarrass them pussy all Cause you know, no know, say me have talent. Now I sell out my friend, them are still one of the biggest songs in the world, see them way. And nothing else can play up on the radar. You know, no, see, see, I must blood clot something wrong with them big pussy wall, yeah. Ah, if it's something wrong with them boy, yeah, you know. Cause I know money, me give them money. And then take your money and still not play your blood clot song them. A three artists alone, them playing a dance hall, that me I tell you, no. See? Me a vent, me now will no more secret for dance hall. Seeing Banky fly first class in the plane and put me in a blood clot coach. And me come back and me run him way. When you talk about cargo, 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 no loyal. Hungry blood clot man, can't loyal. Me can have the biggest song in the world and still asleep on my brother floor in a Spanish town. And me a manager. Me have a run him with people. And that's why them stop playing with song them people because two people wanna manage me. One name Banky and one name Big A. And them make me song them stop playing on the road. And me a vent. Me now will no more secret for dance hall. I be a wicked pussy all in a dance hall. Why make your face of them fight me so much people? I mean, get the most fight in a dance hall. I mean, work the hardest in a dance hall. See, enough of you no know, give me no props neither. 2000, 2006 and 2000, when car tell them lock this and nobody can bust. No, me come and open it up, people. I mean, come and open up the floodgate. They make you see a bunch of young artists can bust, you know. So, how no car gonna play? Because big head up on the radio and tell them, say, don't play no car go. I mean, I call blood clot name. You understand? And me alone run my manager. Count every artist so you know if them have the same manager till now. So how you know I use it against cargo? At that moment, people may attack.
Me na wol no more secret for dance hall. Me attack all you no know can do. This blood clot kill me because maybe it will better off. I run a ton up but my blood clot thing. I know me alone run my manager. Me never know see I'm a bird surfer ticket me sign over go no. So, somebody said to me, somebody linked me on WhatsApp and I said, so Flo, I think Cargo put him life in danger, you know, because you know how the thing go already. Artists get killed for them publishing enough time. Cargo himself, by self-admittance, has said, him never get paid for none of them big, big song them yet. Now I sell out my friend them still a play worldwide on radio station. Somebody just sent me a video but of um, Bujabantan's last interview with, um, with not Anthony Miller, what's his name? Pa on stage, Winford Williams. He just sent me Bujabantan's last interview before he went to prison with Winford Williams. One of the things that struck me as applies to this is when Bujo said this. Bujo said, he was talking about Vibes Cartel and I said, yeah man, Vibes Cartel is the only one we are running thing right now, but Cartel really don't realize where him have yet. But he said if Cartel can actually clean it up, pull it back and steer it in a different direction, oh so powerful he would be. But him soon realized, he also said this, this is what applies to cargo. And this is why people are wonder, in a world where social media runs shit, why cargo worried about radio play and all that. Why I'm not going to turn up him thing himself? Instead of beg people to support him again, begging the fans and all that. Turn up your thing yourself. You build your own studio. Your wife have a good job. You live in a nice place in, um, in America, there, so, and you have a house in Jamaica. All these other things. You're comfortable now. Turn up your thing yourself. Use social media. Get on there every day. Build your own platform. It's not worth it. Listen, like Bujo said, radio play. Is your pension scheme. But you say you can't make the body song out there, you know. But you see if the song can't play up on the radio, then you just mash up your own like a pension scheme right there, so you know what that means? That means me doing this music thing. I hope to one day when my rock back. You see when Bujo rock back one day and Bujo all 65, 75, kick up on a smoke a chalice and I wanna be loved, not for who you think I am. When that play upon BBC One Extra over England, him check I come to him in pounds, and him sit down in the hills in Jamaica, I collect him money same way. And him can still take care of himself, take care of his family same way for the rest of his life. And then his children will be able to. Bob Marley led that example. After Bob Marley find out that Chris Blackwell them did a murder him and rape him off over this, uh, Figuratively speaking, cause some are not smutty minded. Figuratively speaking, Bob Marley said, "No man, yeah what? Me want to control the mute, the the the, the uh, money side of the music. So me gonna learn this thing, and me gonna put my mind to it. And from Bob learn it, put his mind to it. He said, you know what? Boom, tough gang, fly my own recording studio. Then he learned about all uh, how he should own his work, right? Own all creative aspects of his work." A them thing that Kago I talk about. Kago now owns his own studio. <laughs> Kudos to him. But being blackballed, see, again, the rumors come about how Bob Marley used to go thump up people and lock people in at them radio station and go in there with a bag of man. And yo, we now left this till you play that. Play that now. I make him put that pound repeat in there. I wasn't there. I don't know. I'm just saying that's the story that's left out here. So if, Mar if Bob Marley understood back then the importance of having your radio spins, right? At that cargo fight for, the man said him have 10 picnic, you know. When you see how Bob Marley picnic them rich and wealthy, and their riches continue to grow. I just did a video on that where their riches continue to grow in the hundreds of millions of US dollars. Them man, they not even have to worry about. Money is not an issue for them. When you have children come onto this earth and money is no issue for them, your children can truly, really get up and live. Them can say, Chuh, you know, I have this bright idea if I fly go to Africa and go build up one restaurant over Timbuktu and go over there so and do. Just do whatever the frick their mind tells them to do. Actually really live life instead of always being limited. I have this great idea, but can't afford it. I want to go over, but... 
can't afford it. That's how most of us children are going to be living. And that's how most of us came up living. You know what I mean? Always limited by finances. So the youth know where I'm going to fight for. And yeah, Cargo did diss me up one time, but I don't really look at it as a diss. And I told you all before, if you go back and look at the video, I actually thought it was funny. And not only that, I said, look, I'm going to run with it and make Cargo get the most out of it. Because if I come on and tell the people them say, Yo man a true, me dance a go-go club. Them all run with it, and they did. Me I get called from the Star newspaper out of Jamaica and all that. Gleena want to do interview for me admitting to dancing in go-go club in Miami. And I made people actually believe that it was real that I actually did that. Now are you like Cargo? Cargo seem desperate at this point. Can I talk about yo? Them can kill me. It maybe would be better off. I'm not desperate. I actually have a career and I'm comfortable. I get paid good money. So I'm good where I'm at. The man said I'm lost him job for five years now. And he hasn't had any income. Shows dry up him now and book no shows nowhere. Really. Every now and then him get a one show here and there. And his wife mainly a foot the bill. Right? And yeah he's still living good. But which man want to live off of them wife? Especially when you have ten picnic and most of them are not hers. So yeah man, I understand what I said. He's calling names. The man said Big A and Banky are the one that make sure say him shit now nah, play again on the radio in a Jamaica. And Sean is a blackballing because their connection with Blank with Big A and Banky. The man I call up people name. For show you how serious this is. I wanna hear what the audience has to say about this. And I want you to please listen. Keep your funny talk and your disrespect to yourself, okay? Because as funny as this might seem, this is a real serious issue. And here's a youth where, then again, Jano, I notice that Jamaican people love to actually see them one another suffer. They root for the underdog, and when the underdog start winning, they go all out to tear their ass back down. Because we want to see you suffer again, or y'all win, but y'all win too much. Come back, long ass I don't know that type of mentality, that crabbing a barrel mentality, it's very real. So I don't even know if Cargo begging and praying that the people them love him again. I don't know if that's going to work, you know. I'm hoping it works, but it looks like the people are more addicted to drama than they are to good music. And Cargo is a talented artist. We can't take that from him. He is. He really is. Me and the youth sing one time and me and say, Blood Cloud, Cargo can actually, like, really sing. Really, really sing. But where is he now? You know what I mean? How come him think now and play upon the radio in Jamaica? So, if you really want to help Cargo, you have to start calling the radio station in Jamaica and demand them to play Cargo music. The more people call in and demand Zip and the whole of them to play Cargo music, eventually they'll succumb to the pressure and start playing the man music again. That's what I say. Or, Cargo have to align himself with some bad man and start slapping some people. This is about your children's future, yeah? So, put your money where your mouth is. Brave up and do something brave. Me no know. Talk to me in the comment section, people. It's SoFlo TV. Where, sir? Get some different connection. Align yourself with different people in dance hall. In dance hall? Yeah. But it's... Brains are saying, forget some different connection and align yourself with different people in dance hall. But the youth are making no sense in, in, in going at the in, inside out already and it's the same thing all around. Link Cartel. Link Cartel. <laughs> that's, that's all we can think of is Link Cartel, yes. Because like, that's the only way I must survive. And watch out for the next video that I got coming out concerning Cargo. I had about three or four Cargo video because he said some very important things and him revealed some things that I think need to be addressed individually. Yeah. The gully bop thing will come up next. Uh -huh. Alright? People actually take him as publish and things they're joking and make an just look on social media for social media so. Yeah. But that's the wickedness of people though. Cause the youth are cry out him soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? She has said people are taking for puppy show and I say uh, you know like a social media I'm the pan just for social media sake. But those of us who know the realness can see it. The youth are cry out for real. But you know when a man is reduced to actually getting on his knees and begging and crying, some of we were full of pride with a rather dead like me. Before me beg you for a dollar, a glass of water, me prefer dead John Crawford to come near me. Because me are shriveled up and dead out of road. That's how much 
That's how much pride I got in me, and that's me as a person. Yeah, some people are going to say enough is still so and beg for help, or I don't want nobody ever reduce me to begging them. So them can fling it back in my face. Hey boy, I remember when you beg me and me have to save you and you owe me this. No, kill me. Kill me. Me dead. And, and, I, and, and I can see. So to see him reduce himself to praying. Praying. The man said, I am praying to the fans. And I am praying to God to let the fans love me again. Then they love me in a 2010, Lord Jesus. Make them love me again, Lord Jesus. No, sir. Not I. You will never fucking hear that. Not from SoFlo. I promise you. I will die silently. I'm out. Peace.